As the energy transition continues, installing more renewable energy such as solar and wind on the grid may cause certain issues. Indeed, the time of peak demand and renewable energy production are not highly correlated therefore resulting in this duck-shaped curve in the net load profile. Additionally, their power production are highly variable, these can cause electrical grid stability issue as we move towards higher penetration of these renewable sources which increase the size of the duck curve. To counteract these issues, each installation of these energy sources also known as distributed energy resources DERs, are requiring power electronics and smart features that will help regulate and stabilize the grid. This is exactly why a group effort is needed to test these smart features in collaborative manner through International Research Network. The International Smart Grid Action Network, also known as ISGON, is a technology collaboration program of the International Energy Agency and brings together researchers from different countries to work on smart grid-related tasks. Part of ISGON, the Smart Grid International Research Facility Network also known as SURFIN is a collaborative network of testing facilities from country participating members. The DER test protocol task is a collaborative work that tests and evaluate DER capabilities through the international community. This work contributes to improved design, implementation, and testing of smart grids and their functionalities. This task aims to study the standard related to DERs by developing an open source software that will be able to validate the state of currently available standard. The project's outcomes will facilitate most upcoming certification of future DERs installation as they are quickly being updated by the researchers' network. This network provides solid proof for international jurisdiction to implement national standard. The task group latest achievements have been to develop an open source software, which enables automation of scripts and the certification test scripts from existing standards and test protocols. The software and scripts are written in a simple programming language and available in open source to facilitate innovation and collaboration in this field. Surfin is also conducting automated certification tests of DER with the same laboratory facility layout. Ultimately, this laboratory layout in combination with the open source software tool offers a solid validation system that could be used by any DER vendors, universities, research institutions and certification laboratories. The layout is composed of a DC side for simulating the solar resource, and the AC side is for simulating the electric grid network. Additional components are also present for synchronization and ensuring that all the data is captured and saved in a file. Afterwards, all the test bed laboratories share the test results through standard balloting processes and various scientific platforms such as international webinars, workshop, conference and journal papers. During these ballot process, the task group provides specific recommendations and modification proposal for the targeted standard and test protocols based on results coming from the collaborative validation platform. A few examples are IEEE 1547. IEEE 1547.1 and UL 1741 from the United States, CSA 22.3 No. 9 from Canada and 4777.2 from Australia. Once these standards are established, the DER capabilities will pave the way towards full integration of renewable energy into future smart grid control schemes. Eventually, this will allow utility and grid operators to manage thousands of DERs and open the door for more renewable energy on the electric power system of future generation.